Hello everyone, welcome or welcome back to my channel. My name is Rachel. I am a 25 year old Canadian cash budgeter. I work as a server right now. So what I have been doing is I collect my tips for two weeks and then I stuff them. And then I'll be collecting my tips for another two weeks and then I'll stuff them all at once. So um, in these past two weeks, I made $795 in tips which is quite a lot this is probably like the highest amount I've stuffed um, in a long time so I have all the cash here for us and this is my cute little bank bag that I made um, these are available on my Kofi shop so I will get to counting this out for you and as the title might have spoiled um, I have added quite a few new categories into my sinking funds and whatnot so we will you know I'll show those off when we get to them um, but today I have 100 200 300 400 20 40 60 80 500 20 40 60 80 600 20 40 60 80 700 720 730 740 750 760 770 780 795 so I ended up picking up um, two extra shifts this these past two weeks so my six shifts a week ended up being um, eight shifts so that is why we've got quite a bit more than usual which I'm not complaining about I am quite happy with that <clears throat> so those are good there and I'm going to unstuff my a7 cash wallet Everything I use is linked down below as well. Lots of things are available on my shop purchase. So in here, I do have groceries and I'm just gonna take out my rollover money. So this is money that I stuffed previously that was not spent. So there is 10, 15, and $20 in rollover, which I will just tuck in here. Oh. That's not gonna wanna stay nicely, but that's okay. Um, so in my A7 wallet, I do have groceries now. I have takeout, shopping, fun money, miscellaneous, and to give. So this one is similar to like help a human. Um, this is just money that like if I see somebody in need, I do have it on hand. So to get us started, um, today in groceries, I will be stuffing $100, 60, 80, 90, 100. And this is good that I'm finally stuffing it because we desperately <laughs> need groceries in our house. So that is good there. Takeout today is getting 50. And um, yeah, we spend too much going out to eat. Um, Marcus works from home now, is a software engineer, so we really just like hang out when he goes um, on his lunch break and we usually go for lunch. So we need to stop doing that, hopefully we can get some groceries <laughs> and we'll stop doing that. Um, so I'm skipping shopping, fun money, we'll also be getting 20 in here. And we're skipping miscellaneous and then money to give we'll be getting five dollars so i'm going to tuck that in the back one here okay so that is good for the a7 wallet and we are going to move on to my high priority funds here in my allison savings land binder So in here I have rent, um, I've added quite a few new categories as well, um, but we're going to start off with rent. So rent is going to get 325, so I have 100, 200, 300, 450, 400, 450, 400, 450, 400, 450, 450, 450, 450, 450, and then I will um, stuff the other half of this in two more weeks. 
This is just my half of the rent. Um, Marcus also pays his share. Speaking of Marcus, that is my next envelope. This is my partner who I live with. And this money is just for little gifts for him and our anniversary and Valentine's Day and whatnot. So it is getting five, so it has 15 now. Gifts is next. This is also getting five dollars today. So gifts now has 10. This would be for other birthdays um, and like Mother's Day type of gifts. Um, any like wedding gifts that I need for friends, that type of thing. Next is Bun Bun, who is my pet rabbit. Um, and I am stuffing $100 in here because he has a vet appointment um, in two weeks. So I needed to bulk this up quite a bit. So I have 100, 110, 120, and 130 now for Bun Bun. And I'm hoping this will be enough. Um, we'll see. <laughs> so, Bun Bun is good. He's also like, okay, um, it's a checkup and he's also getting one of his shots that he needs. So that is what that's for. Um, these are some new categories in here. I have aquarium because if you can hear it, um, that is the filter for my 10 gallon aquarium. Um, I had to take over the care of it for a friend of mine. So this is just going to be for fish food and maintenance and live plants and anything else that I need for it. So this will have its first 20. Health is getting $20 as well. Um, I did turn 25 so my meds are no longer covered by OHIP here in Canada. So everything I need to buy they renew every two months. So I need to bulk this up but I just got them all. So we should be good for a little bit. Um, vision is a new one that I have added because I do wear glasses, um, if it wants to open. I'm not due for new glasses probably for another year, so I do have lots of time for this one. And then I did add dental as well. This is a new category. And it is super important to keep up with your, uh, teeth and your mouth overall health and care. Um, that's become way more evident to me because my best friend is a dental hygienist now. Um, so I'm super stoked for her. But yeah, she's always like on me about, you know, if I've gone for my yearly cleaning and I'm like, I don't have money for that. Um, but <laughs> hopefully one day that'll be something I can do and I can afford. So this is good for my high priority funds here. Next, we are going to move on to my low priority funds in my cute little black binder. And some things did get switched around in here. There are a couple new categories as well. So beauty and personal is the first one in here. And I will be stuffing $10 today. So this one I have $20, $35. Um, I do really want to go get my nails done. So hopefully I can afford that <laughs> within the next month. Um, clothing is a new category that I've brought back from previously, um, but that is not being stuffed right now. Home decor is getting $5. So we have 45 now in home decor. Um, I'm saving up at the moment to buy a industrial shelf for my craft room here. And then I can rearrange the entire room once that once I have that. Um, new tech is another envelope that I've added. Um, I don't need anything right now. This is kind of just like a, you know, fail safe in case something breaks. Um, but eventually, once my phone plan is like run its two years, I would have to buy my phone out at the end if I wanted to keep it. Um, so this is just kind of like a little bit of a saving for that. That's kind of my idea for new tech. Next is witchy shit, which is not getting anything today. This has $10 at the moment. Stationery is empty and we are getting $20 in there. 
I am skipping travel right now. Travel should have $10. Yes. And then this is another new envelope that I made and I'm literally in love with this. I think it's so fun. <laughs> it, it says plant mom um, because I have taken up a bit of a hobby um, and I have like several different plants here in my craft room. Uh, so this is just a little bit of a fun for me to expand my my plant collection is basically the idea for that so it is getting its first five dollars today in plant mom and tattoo fund is also getting five dollars today so it has 30 and it now has 35 there in tattoo fund Okay, and now we are going to move on to my last little um, binder here. So this is my So Mushroom for Savings binder, and we are going to be stuffing this. I do work as a server, um, and I do get American tips occasionally, but I didn't make any this week. This is a little tracker that I've been using, which is available in my shop, um, and we're only $2 away from completing it, but there was no American money this week. So we are skipping that. My emergency used to be in high priority, and I've brought it into the savings binder. Um, I think that makes just a little bit more sense. So in here, I will be stuffing $50, so 20 40 and 50 today and I'm gonna get to color these in um, so do I want to color in two 25s I think so we're just gonna keep going strong with coloring in the higher amounts so there we are Okay. So now my emergency fund has 50, 70, 90, 110, 125. So $125, which is really great. Um, I definitely recommend starting an emergency fund if you haven't already. These little trackers are available in my shop. Um, everything you see in this binder is actually available. So we are going to move on to my $5 savings challenge here, and this one I'm only stuffing with rollover money, my rollover fives. So I had two this week. So these two are being stuffed from rollover, and I get to color in two more. So one, and two. So now my $5 savings challenge is 5, 10, 15, and 20. And this is a super easy one. You could even do this like every time you get a $5 back and change, you could stuff it, that type of thing. So that one is good. There, I am skipping birthday babe right now. Birthday babe has 35. I am skipping Halloween. Halloween has $10. And then we're gonna move back here to Christmas. And this one is a huge priority for me to get stuffed in time because I did start it so late in the year. So this is the little tracker that I have and I am stuffing 10, 15, and $20 into Christmas. So each present here, is worth 10 so I get to color in two today one and two okay so now my Christmas savings has 20 30 40 50 60 and 70 dollars so we are good here Okay. 
so thank you all so so much for watching um i really hope you've enjoyed and yeah this was like a really high amount for me so i was quite happy to be able to stuff like a bit in quite a few categories um as well all of the trackers you saw are available on my ko-fi shop um speaking of my ko-fi shop i'm thinking about switching over to etsy um because like ko-fi doesn't really have like the search function where people just like come on and type like savings challenges if you go on ko-fi you do specifically have to look for my shop you can't like narrow it down by um like the items you want so i feel like etsy would like drive a lot more of my sales up but at the same time like there are a lot of higher fees and I also am in Canada and I know that they switched like all their tax stuff so I don't know um, but if you do have an Etsy shop let me know like what categories you keep in a binder do you have a binder for your business and what you kind of have I was thinking about doing like office supplies and shipping and taxes but those are really like the only three categories I can think of to keep in a business binder um, so I'd appreciate any insight in that and also like if you're a Canadian Etsy shop owner if you have any tips for me like that would be greatly appreciated um, but yeah I hope you have a very very lovely day and I will see you all in my next video okay bye bye